Hey guys, it's Kirgle again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Masix ROM version 45 for Galaxy S3. Yes, there has been 45 versions of this ROM already and that's without counting the Jelly Bean version. So that's pretty sick. Now, um, there has been a lot of improvements. The last video I did was of uh, 30 something. So yeah, it's now 45 already. So let's get into the ROM now. First of all, what you would see here is the uh, the lock screen, which has a pretty cool lock screen handle, which is customizable. You can customize this. You can use uh, this one for the standard lock or you can use any other picture from your gallery. So that's pretty cool. Now, the launcher here is Trebuchet Launcher, so that is really cool. You have a lot of extra features. You can see default screen, scroll effects. These are the features extra, nothing special, but still that's really cool. Um, in the previous version, the Trebuchet Launcher was not working correctly, so you do have Trebuchet now. Now, let's get into the settings about phone page. You can see it is uh, Android KitKat. It's the latest version of KitKat. So it is version 45, 11 to 2014. So you have all the good stuff which comes with KitKat, namely the RAM, uh, better RAM usage, etc. So let's get into the extra options. Now, first of all, you have lock screen options. You can enable the 8 slider target, which is, uh, well, in the normal one, you have four options right here, right? If you enable 8, the design, you have four here also. So that would increase productivity. Well, it will increase the amount of apps you can uh, launch from the status bar from the lock screen so that's pretty cool you ha also have lock screen shortcuts which is i guess a feature from slim rom so you can have that so that's pretty cool slider torch is something which i use uh, frequently which i really like also you can just double tap and the torch opens up so yeah that's pretty neat you have that General security features and general security features. This is the theme setting where you can change the lock handle to default icon or a custom icon from the gallery. So that's really cool. You do have that option also. Uh, you do have see through. You can have the blur radius also. You can intensify or non intensify the blur effect. So now it does have, um, themes which accept the Cyanogen Mod 11 themes. Pretty much any theme out there for a USB ROM can be used in here. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure about all the 10.2 themes but CM11 has a special set of themes so I did use circle theme which was a CM10.2 theme and it it works it works um, uh, adequately I'm not saying that it works perfectly it works to the degree of how it should work so yeah it does have dark uh, UI which is TRDS the real dark slim uh, which is 3.0 so you do have manual switch on light condition or on daytime so it does change automatically or whatever whatever option you want now Temasek spare parts has the, all the other options first of all we have status bar options you have battery icons a few other battery icons also you have dotted percentage circle speed animation color you can customize the color you can customize the color of the percentage uh, whatever you can want that's pretty cool you have um, clock and date setting Something which I really appreciate about the clock and date is that me, uh, another ROM, Fusion ROM also has this option, but it doesn't really work out. But in this one, it does work. I really like the condensed option. Uh, if I could, I would change everything, every icon text to condensed. So yeah, that's something which I do. I do. So yeah, double tap to sleep. Now, you do have double tap to sleep, which you can double tap the status bar. So that the uh, phone would go to sleep just like that. So that is pretty cool. Yeah, I just took a few extra turns to get that right. Now, yeah, let's go to notification QS. The QS drawer, that is a quick setting styles, is actually the um, om the Omni style. Now, the slim style quick setting. So that does work out pretty cool. It does have styles, which is uh, one of the most, well, for me, it's one of an important feature you can change it to four tiles if you need so that's pretty cool you do have all of that options you have tile background color text color etc smart pull down all the options which you get from slim quick settings is available there you do have swipe to switch detection etc etc in the omni features you have extra features you do have contextual panel header which is something which i'll show you now it is uh, this one the panel header is changed the color is changed so that is something pretty cool you do have show clear all buttons which is uh, this one you can clear all the buttons now 
in the meantime i'll show you guys the ram usage the ram free ram is now 600 mb free that is an insane amount of free ram yes may not be correct if you choose the uh, cache and whatnot but in all of my other ROMs, 600 meg free right now is just insane well i haven't flashed any g apps or anything like that but still that's insane you do have breathing notification and sms so that's something really, which is pretty cool um you do have now lights in the lights and warning setting you do have screen on notification light it is off but it i i'm not sure if i can control it the notification light in kitkat roms are uh kind of out of whack so yeah i'm not sure of that screens and animation you have lock screen display and lock screen notification which are really cool features now lock screen display is something which i use all the time with pocket mode enabled now if you're enabled pocket mode in any of any of these one you cannot enable the pocket mode in the other one so keep that in mind you can have crt animation styles you have collapse um which is crt animation uh, you have scale down which is a KitKat special uh, don't show is just fade animation so that's really cool you do have a uh, custom system animation which is actually uh, AOKP system animation so you do have that list view animation also is pretty cool but it's not as intrusive intuitive as the uh, OmniROM style list view animation in which you can select the animation duration and stuff like that so that's pretty cool um, general options include the recent ram bar which you just saw here you do have recent ram bar uh, you do you can restart the system ui if you made a lot of changes and you want to restart the system ui so that the status bar refreshes or something so you can have that show cpu info a lot of them so that is it in the slim spare parts now in the navigation bar a real surprise you do have slim pie implemented now uh, as of now there are two roms which are implementing this rom the fusion rom is the first one and now slim pie has been implemented in this rom also now this one doesn't have all the options but it's really cool you can see the size of the uh, pie you can actually change it don't worry about that you can change the buttons you can change the uh, option style and animation navigation size mirror pie etc etc you can have a lot of options yeah this is the um, trigger size on keyboard reduce trigger size on keyboard etc uh, trigger top screen you have a lot of options that's what i'm trying to say so you do have that really cool um, what else navigation bar you can see navigation bar is available you can enable navigation bar for whatever reason you need it for so yeah now, something about the Damascus ROM, when you're first flashing the ROM, you need to enable custom action, it's disabled by default, and you have to change the long press to recent if you wish to use a recent menu, because it uh, it uses slim style hardware button or omni style hardware button, which uh, actually changes the bind of the home, screen, home, home key uh, long press to search in the app, so that's not very cool. So, yeah. it does have advanced options so you can change the uh, haptic feedback strength audio etc from here so you have that you can even change the led fading or blinking option that's really cool you can see the aura here right that is omni switch it does have omni switch you can go for the settings now first of all i wasn't really sure about what i can do with omni switch but now i really prefer omni switch to the recent menu so that's something which i really like these are the apps with which it comes uh, it's not much but it's pretty cool the camera option now the camera I did get a few uh, can't connect to camera option but I guess it's now a granted thing it's just expected so I'm not going to bash the ROM because of the camera but for me this one is not yet at that point where I can use this so, so uh, battery life now battery life is really cool on this ROM now I've got a lot of people say this to me and I've experienced this also uh, out of the KitKat ROM SlimCat is definitely the best one with the battery life this one is also really cool with all these features I cannot expect it to perform the way it does so that's really cool the battery life is really great now the entry to benchmark score is medicore is 800 800, uh, 18,000 to 19,000 nothing special there so I'm not going to show you guys that and the boot animation also is just something you have seen a lot of times so that's nothing special I'm not sure I'm not going to show you that either so yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye